Now, so we're looking at reducing balance depreciation. This is one where you lose a, a greater proportion at the beginning of the period, and then uh, as time goes on, you uh, use uh, less and less. Um, what we're going to do is um, have a look first at the rule. So the rule for this one is that the book value is equal to the purchase price, what we started with, times 1 minus the rate as a percentage uh, to the power n. Let's just annotate that for you so you can see what that looks like. Um, so here is my book value. This is my uh, purchase price. Uh, here is my rate of depreciation. This is a percent per annum, number of every years. And here is uh, the number of depreciation periods in years. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of familiarity here with the uh, compound interest formula. So let's have a look at a, a question. Well, actually, before we do, we'll um, jump over here to our e-activity. This is my same e-activity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another section now underneath that. I'm going to reducing balance depreciation. Um, if you like, you could uh, type in what all these uh, different letters mean. Um, I want to insert my strip so I can do some calculations. Uh, type in the equation, my book value is equal to um, purchase price times that by 1 minus R over 100, and that is to the power N. i make sure it looks right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's look at a question. This one uses quite a little, quite a different amount of uh, calculations all in one. Uh, so our, uh, here's my cost of my new machine, 21,000. This is P. 16% per annum, that's my R. So firstly asks to calculate the book value after four years. So this is just book value. And it tells me reducing balance, so I know which one to use. Uh, so that's what I want to find. Uh, I've got to set it up here first on paper and then I can use my CAS. So my P, 21,600. My rate, 16% per annum. Uh, the number of time periods, so we're looking at N here. How many years? Four. So basically type these in. My purchase price, 21,600. 16%. Uh, Four years. I sell for the book value. So Tells me that my book value is $10,754.02. So calculate the total depreciation after the first six years' use. So, what I want to do here is work out the book value after six years. Twenty-one thousand six hundred. The rate is sixteen. I'm going to jump to my CAS now. Solve for this. Uh, everything stays the same except for my period of time. It is now sixteen years. Ah, uh, six years. I can see here now that my book value is worth seven thousand five hundred eighty-eight dollars and four cents. Now that's not what the question is asking, it's asking for my total depreciation. So my depreciation is equal to, what did I start with? What is it worth now? 21,600, 7588.04. So I can jump back here to my main screen. And that gives me 14011 and 96 cents. How much I've lost after four years. Um, part C. How many years does the machinery reach a value below 10,000? So they're saying, well, if my book value, let's just go with it, is 10,000. 
So I start with the present value of 2,600. It's still the same interest rate. We want to find how long. So let's go back to our activity. We're doing producing balance. 21616 and we don't know, I'll delete that out. We do know this one, 10,000. Let's tick that box and say, okay, find end price. It tells us that that'll happen 4.42 years. How many years does machinery reach pay below 10,000? So at 10,000 book value, 4.4 years. So at 4 years, it would be worth more than that. At 5 years, it would be worth less than that. Reach a value below 10,000. 5 years, it will be below 10,000. Because at 4 years, it's still worth more than 10,000.